Let's start with, here he comes, first cast. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy sh Well guys, I'm smack dab in the middle of my Montana road trip. I'm gonna do some solo camping tonight. I've been staying with my friends Tanner and Dana in Columbia Falls, doing a little fishing around town, and decided today that I was gonna drive a few hours out of the way, try and get to a little bit up more remote area, camp by myself, and hopefully find some fish that haven't seen flies in a while. Just pulled into the campsite. Only one in the whole joint here. River's uh, right behind the site. I'm gonna set up my tent and uh, gather up some wood here for the evening and then just go do some fishing. So, see how it goes. So I figured since I'm car camping on this trip, rather than using my little uh, sleeping pad, I got myself a twin size air mattress and a quick fill uh, pump that I can just plug right into the truck. Excited to see how quick this thing actually fills up the mattress. I blew this thing up last weekend at Jake's bachelor party using my lungs and I almost passed out like six times so much easier this way. Another car camp and perk. Brought my down comforter from home. I'm gonna be sleeping in luxury. It's gonna get pretty chilly, I think, tonight. Probably down around 40, but uh, got a couple blankets, sleeping bag, down comforter. It's like laying in a cloud. I should be plenty warm and very comfortable. I'm gonna gather up some firewood, but it looks like no one's been out here this summer. There's just stacks of beautiful wood all around this place, just like this, check it out. Bring a few of these over to the campsite. I got my hatchet and I'll split, split enough to have a fire tonight before I slide into my tent. Got a decent pile of wood going. Time for a wardrobe change and then we're gonna go get on the river. Let's go fish. If anyone's wondering why I'm carrying this uh, obnoxiously large backpack, it's because it's holding the rest of the camera gear. So if you enjoy the video and you're still watching at this point, really appreciate it if you left a like and a comment and subscribed. Much appreciated. I think I'm gonna go downstream. That looked best on the map, so we'll head down this way and see if we can find some fish. There's gotta be a trout in here. Hopefully hungry and dumb. Looks good, it looks fishy. Looks fishy. Oh, it looks real fishy. I have this little nymph rig set up on from yesterday and it did really well, but I feel like I put a lot of effort in to get back in here. There's not much pressure. I gotta at least try dry fly to start. Be doing myself a disservice. I can see a putty sitting right in the middle there. Let's see if I can sharp shoot him. But I saw him. Saw him sip once, so that's a good sign. I had to climb up on this rock just to look into this pool. My confidence is pretty low right now. Didn't want it. They're not interested in what I'm throwing right now. 
Not even looking. Cool. fish down there. Holy smokes. Hooked up. Hooked up. Beautiful cutty. Beautiful. That took longer than I hoped, but we're on the board. There we go, first fish of the trip. Out this big, beautiful, deep pool. So I changed the dry fly to start the day, and then uh, once I got here, I put the nymph that I had on originally back on. Let it get way down deep in this pool. I don't have an indicator on or anything. I was just kind of slowly moving it along and it worked. I'm a genius. Whitey hooked up with a white fish. Kind of surprised that's the first one it took. Quite a while. There's a lot of whitefish in here. Usually they're gobbling up nymph rigs. This one finally decided to. This one's bigger than the couple cutties I caught. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. Montana bonefish. Send them home. Thanks for playing. We'll take a nice white fish any day of the week. Starting to get chilly. Think I'll go home now. Never mind, I'm gonna catch another fish. Oh! Oh! Bull trout's chasing it. Big time. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. He's on the surface. He's... <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's gnarly. That was a pretty big bull trout. Good luck to you. The slow rise got him again. I might be able to just bolt flip this this one. Yep. Got him. A little cut from up top. Great entry. Nine out of ten on the entry. Another itty bitty one. Poor entry there, 3.2. White fish. Got another white fish. Just gonna wench him up. It's not that big. Another poor entry on that one, even worse than the last 2.3. On the high dive entry for the white fish. Well, spent most of the day below this sweet waterfall. Caught a few fish, starting to get cold. I'm gonna go back to camp, get a fire going, and make some dinner. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. There's that freaking fish. 
from earlier. Okay. <laughs> Putting on a dry fly. Just gonna try a little, little purple haze. Here he comes, first cast. Yeah! Yeah! No! 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 Oh. Dang it. That would have been the biggest one of the day. No way he's eating again. I stung him hard. <sighs> Walking through this kind of stuff, especially in the evening, makes me nervous. So I'm going to talk to myself kind of loud and have a bear juice at the ready. Just for peace of mind. Be bear aware, they say. It's gonna be cold at camp. Get a fire going. Oh, Jesus, there's a fire. Holy f they walked a long ways. Yep. 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 Come little little home little 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 Hi ho silver! Away! Alright, we're getting close. Getting close. There's the truck. Alrighty. Made it. That was a lot of walking. I'm ready to relax by the fire. Oh. That'll go. I'm gonna let this fire burn down a little bit. Flip that grate over and uh, put a can of soup on there for dinner. Some top notch. Campbell's chunky. Pub style chicken pot pie. While I wait for the fire to burn down, I'm gonna have myself a little nip of moonshine. <laughs> Gotta make sure I save enough just in case I run out of gas. So when you're cooking canned soup over a fire, make sure you crack the can open before you put it on so it doesn't explode. When the soup's done, grab a pair of tongs, remove from the heat. Let it rest for about two minutes. Dinner served. 
Cheers. Decent. When the soup's still a little too warm to hold on to with your hands, you can just grab yourself a TV dinner tray, set it right up there, hands free. And if the soup's too hot for your mouth and you take a bite, just go. <laughs> then you're good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well guys, I'm going to relax by the fire here for a little bit and then probably hit the sack shortly. I'm getting up early tomorrow and go fish in a different spot. Thanks for coming along today. It's nice to be out by myself doing what I love to do. Enjoying the outdoors. One of my favorite places in the world with my favorite person. Last night when I crawled into the tent, it was so peaceful. I could hear the river. There was a couple owls talking back and forth to each other. Then this morning, it, it had to be like 6 a.m. This is what I woke up to. It's like 45 red squirrels in this campsite and they all are early risers. That's my one complaint of the trip so far.